Hello, welcome to Teach Me Software. Today we're going to use Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to take a simple YouTube thumbnail and change it into this. It doesn't take long at all. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need is an image or a file of some sort that you're going to use for a YouTube thumbnail. I'm sure you've already got your thumbnails that you've been using, so you want to move that into Photoshop so we're going to just create one here for our example just to show you the difference between a border and not a border using Photoshop CC. So you come in here and you hit create new. And then we're going to pick a 1920 by 1080 because that's what the size for YouTube thumbnails are. And let's just go ahead and pick a color over here. Uh, we'll pick kind of a kind of a light gray. Yeah, that right there will work. So then we hit create. So now we've just got a 19 by, uh, 1980 by 1020 background here. So now we want to go in and we want to add text to it. So we're just going to click in the middle. And this is, a, this is a font that I really like. It's called American Captain. I think I just downloaded it off one of the free font sites. So we're going to type in how to make a order for your YouTube thumbnails. So we're going to come in here and we're going to use the marquee tool. We're going to select our whole thing and then we're going to hit our move tool and we're going to center horizontally and we're going to center vertically. This is our thumbnail, our little test thumbnail that we're going to use. And it looks okay. And I know it's real plain. It's just text. But we're going to show you what it'll look like with a border on it. So the first thing we want to do now is we want to take and create a new file. So go File and New. Go ahead and pick another 19... 20 by 1080 and hit create and we're going to come in here and we're going to pick a color that we think will really pop so let's just go with a bright red so now we've just got a simple background 1920 by 1080 with whatever color you want your border to be and that's all we're going to do to that so we go back to our original image and now this is the whole key on this is you go up to image size, you go image files, image size, and you want to reduce the size of your thumbnail. And when I did this initially, I took the, I left the lock on, okay? The lock is usually standard right here. This locks your dimensions where they move proportionally. When you change one, it changes the other. But what I figured out is when you did this, it made your borders skinnier on the top than they were on the sides and they didn't really look right. So if you take this lock off and then you reduce the size of each one by an equal amount of pixels, which I usually pick 60. So I'm going to take this from 1920. I'm going to take it down to 1860. And by doing that, that distorts your picture a little bit, but it's such a minute amount that it doesn't matter. So then I'm going to take 60 off of my height. So now I've got reduced my width and my height by 60. And you click OK. So it changed the proportion of the image a little bit, but it's such a minute amount that you will never notice it. So now we've reduced the image size here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to select this image, select all, go to edit, copy merged, and then you open back up your border and then you go to edit and you go to paste and there you've got it so that's the difference now you've got the same this is our original right here and this is what we've got now with the border and you can put the border any color you can create gradients whatever you want to do but it just shows you the difference between the two so anyway it's really simple uh, it doesn't take long at all to do I do it with the majority of my YouTube thumbnails now. It just makes it pop a little bit in the listings uh, when they come up on suggested videos. 
It makes them show up a little bit more, makes them stand out. Maybe it'll get that extra click or two for you. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share my videos. Thank you.